Hi, my name is Awo Dominate from Team Liquid, and these are my top five junglers for solo queue on patch 5.13. I think the best jungler for solo queue is Rek'Sai. Rek'Sai is super good early game. He's able to gank level three and loses almost no health in the jungle. And on top of that, he has the ability to build Warrior or Cinder Hulk, so he can build a lot of damage or he could be more tanky. Um, this allows him to take two routes in the game depending on game circumstance and he's strong at all points of the game with both builds. Um, he also has the ability to be two places at one time by using his ultimate to cover lanes. So if you set up a good tunnel network, you should be able to counter gank or make cross map plays if you do get counter ganked yourself. My number two jungler for solo queue is Gragas. Gragas has extremely good early game ganking potential. He would be number one on my list, but after the changes, he takes a little bit more damage than normal. So you have to normally double jungle or get a really good pull, um, or you won't be able to gank as efficiently early as before. But once you're level six, you have extremely good ults, uh, extremely good uh, abilities to kill people with your ults and your E. So I think that he's probably the strongest jungler once you hit level six, but in the early game, he get he can get outpaced by Nidalee or Rek'Sai, which makes him um, a little bit worse than those. Um, but I still think he's extremely strong for solo queue. He becomes this massive tank and he's extremely hard to deal with. My number three jungler is Nidalee. I think Nidalee is extremely good in solo queue. If you're really good at her, she'd probably be the number one on the list. Um, she's strong at pretty much all points in the game. Her early game is insane. If you get double buffs, you can literally walk into the enemy jungle, and if you see the enemy jungler, they immediately have to burn a flash or they're dead, which is extremely unique to her. Um, she also farms the jungle faster than any other jungler, so she has the speed advantage. Um, the only downside to Nidalee is that she sucks in teamfights, but if you're able to just throw spares from the outside of teamfights, um, which you can normally do in solo queue, you can get a lot of work done and you can end up carrying the game. My number four jungler for solo queue is Evelyn. I think Evelyn is extremely potent because in solo queue, people don't normally react well to you being invisible. People don't buy a lot of pink wars. You can get a lot of ganks off with Evelyn that you can't get off with other champions. She's extremely annoying for the enemy team to deal with. She can be pretty much anywhere um, at any time. And her biggest strength right now, I'd say, is after the Runeclave buff she can build AP so she's able to go things like Rylai's Leandri's or potentially something like Zanya's which gives her a lot of burst potential and she's just extremely hard to shut down because she's almost guaranteed to get a couple kills before level 6 in solo queue so I think Evelyn is actually um, extremely strong pick right now and I think she'll be um, seeing more competitive play as well as just more solo queue play after this patch and my last jungler on my list for solo queue is Shivana. Shivana is extremely strong now with the Devourer upgrade. She doesn't have much pressure pre-6, but she's able to farm um, pretty much on par with uh, Nidalee, which is like the top tier clear speed. And once you have um, Chilling Smite, your ganks are not bad, so you're able to do a lot of damage to people. And because of the way solo queue works, you're normally able to farm a decent amount. You're able to get your 30 stacks and your Sated Devourer, and from there you can just carry the game. Uh, you do way too much damage for people to deal with. If you auto Q auto, then you actually are able to proc um, your on hits six times, which is really insane because of the way Sated Devourer works. And if you have, um, let's say, your E, true damage, passive on them, and then you also have Blade of the Rune King, then you're procking six Blade of the Rune um, King hits and six E procs within uh, one combo, essentially which is actually insane. It's so hard for people to deal with in solo queue. Thanks for watching my top five junglers for solo queue video. Make sure to check out the rest of my videos here at lawclass.com.